Hi, so today let's talk moon princesses, uh, particularly the character's origin uh, for Sailor Moon, which is my favorite childhood uh, show. I am definitely an Usagi in personality, um, very clumsy, very, um, very good at procrastinating, and I'm also good at being optimistic. I'm also quite clumsy. Yeah, I'm, I'm an Usagi fan through and through. Um, and she was created by Naoko Takauchi um, and uh, came out in the early 1990s, 1991. And um, for a long time, she was kind of a big deal for little girls, not just in Japan, but in the US as well, or at least for me. <laughs> And her story is pretty interesting. Um, I didn't realize in how deep into mythology that the creator actually went into, which I was pleasantly surprised, which just makes me love uh, the series all the more. So the story is about uh, Usagi Tsukino, and her name means Rabbit of the Moon. Um, which we will cover in another video because that's a whole other character, even though they're the same character. Um, and she has uh, these four friends who are her Sailor Scouts. Uh, they protect her, they protect the world, they protect the universe. Uh, she herself is, like I said, the Moon Princess um, and is very powerful herself. Uh, and she has the love of her life, uh, Mamoru Chiba, who is also Prince Endymion. Um, she's Princess Serenity and, um, oh yes, and they have two talking cats, Luna and Artemis. Um, and when you think about it, in some versions of Greek mythology, Serenity, who is known as Selene, in Greek mythology, uh, Artemis and Luna, in some mythologies, they are all the same person, depending on which ones you're looking at. So let's get into uh, the origin story of uh, technically Princess Serenity, not so much Usagi. Usagi will be a different video. And her love interest in Dimian. Uh, so as I said before, Serenity is based off of the Greek Titan, not a goddess, a Titan, uh, who came before the Olympians, named Selene. In some versions, uh, she's also known as Phoebe, and she is the Titan of the Moon. Um, her brother is Helios, the original uh, sun god, with the original chariot. Uh, in a lot of versions, he just kind of lets Apollo borrow the chariot. Um, but Helios is the real sun god. Just like how um, Selene is, is really the, the ruler of the moon. She herself uh, drives a chariot to bring in the moon each night. And just like uh, Princess Serenity, and Queen Serenity and Neo Queen Serenity from the series, uh, she also has a crescent um, symbol, not necessarily on her forehead, but above her head. Almost, um, well, some myths are describing it almost as if they are like bull horns where her chariot was said to be pulled by oxen. Um, or you can think of it as almost like a tiara which is interesting because in the Sailor Moon series, um, the thing across their foreheads is also called tiara in it. And Sailor Moon has the crescent moon on it. Selene herself is the daughter of um, Titans Hyperion and Thea, um, who were part of pretty much the creation of, um, of everything. <laughs> Uh, she is technically the cousin of the Olympians, 
Um, that's how she relates to them. Eventually, she will have a daughter, Leto, who would get with Zeus, and that is how we get her grandchildren, Artemis and Apollo. Um, Artemis being the new goddess of the moon, the new ruler of the moon. Now, for, now, for how she meets uh, a human, Endymion, and this is also what I liked about the, the show, is that in the show, uh, moon people can live for thousands of years, but earth people still have mortal lives, um, living that of a normal person. So, obviously a titan is going to live a lot longer than a simple mortal man. And Selene falls in love with a young human named Endymion. Um, Endymion is granted the, the, I suppose some would consider it a gift, uh, of being immortal and ageless. Uh, he'll never age and he'll never die um, but it came at a very steep price for Endymion um, it came at the cost of he would be in an in an eternal sleep um, and this was the deal that he had made with Zeus but Selene would watch him every single night as he slept um, she was just that devoted to him and was that much in love with him. But yeah, it was said before he had fallen asleep and put into Mount um, Latmus, in a cave of Mount Latmus where she would go visit him, that they actually, they had 50 daughters together. That's a lot of children. <laughs> All girls. Sounds like my husband. We have three girls, Pandora, Persephone, and Phoebe. Um, intentionally after after Greek and Roman mythology um, our Phoebe being our Selene basically that's just a, a short little video I wanted to do because I did find that fascinating and just how much um, research and effort went into one of my favorite shows of all time um, because when you're a kid, you just see, you know, you just see superheroes in, in very short skirts, um, teenage girls fighting aliens, and um, it it really makes me appreciate the series even more as an adult, knowing that some of my greatest interests, such as mythology, I, I love mythology, uh, went into the creation of this this um, manga series turned into anime series with a reboot, uh, Sailor Moon Crystal. If you haven't watched Sailor Moon Crystal yet, you are definitely missing out. Um, not that I don't love the original series, I do, but the original series kind of, uh, it drags on uh, versus Crystal, which stays more true to the original um, source but yeah, let me know if you personally like this anime. Um, I do hope to be going into more anime in the future. Uh, and maybe some video games. And would like to hear feedback on it. If people would be so willing to leave feedback on it. But like, comment, share, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, yeah. Bye.